Hello and welcome back to Legendary Iron Man XCOM 2 Exquisite Timing with Permanent Dark Events for good measure. My name is Saiken. We're trying to beat the game uh, in a speedrun in only four and a half months. So that is July 15th uh, is uh, the latest potential date to win the game uh, with the Exquisite Timing um, achievement. We currently are kind of in uh, almost mid of June, so only one more month, <clears throat> and this retaliation mission carries uh, specific importance because we need to win it to not lose this area, and if we were to lose this area, uh, we would probably not make it in time. So never was a retaliation mission as important as it is now. Luckily for us, we just got the GTS, uh, and with that, we finally get a full squad. So Wrath is going to be our squad leader. Uh, let's uh, put him into the middle. These two positions always start uh, the closest to the enemy. Uh, towards uh, the enemy as well, we want to have Sane, our, um, our insanely good ranger. We got Magic Man, a specialist. Uh, uh, Boom Boom is uh, Sane's uh, squad mate, uh, so, or bound mate, so the two of them should certainly uh, work together. And Jessica Jones um, is has a bond together with Boss, aka Mabozo the Sniper, which leaves us only one more uh, option, and that's going to be our second uh, Grenadier. Let me shortly go through the equipment and then we continue. Oh, and whilst we're doing this, Perfect. Uh, personal combat sims are available for the very first time. So the question really is, uh, they are available because we do have the GTS. We do have one uh, PCS, which is improved speed. And if anyone needs improved speed, it's either our, um, our Reaper, but I think uh, in stealth, um, he already has enough speed, or it is one of the rangers just to get enough movement going problem is that this ranger is saying um, is probably not the highest level ranger in the future hmm so how about we're putting our only pcs on someone where we definitely know that that person is going to use it uh, so faster scouting Okay, back to the equipment. Good, so since we do have two Mimic Beacons, I really want to use them as well. Um, giving Sane one and giving uh, a Tank here, uh, the extra uh, Grenadier, the second one, still leaves us with sufficient cover removal in my book. We got armor penetration shredding as well as um, uh, explosives from uh, Wrath. We should be overall fine. The only thing that we might want to do is double check if we can use um, some of our extra APs. Don't need that. Don't need that. Soil Harvest is okay, but not that important. Not at the um, at this moment. Okay, so that's going to be our group. I am fully expecting that we're going to see an enemy... Um, uh, chosen probably the hunter uh, so that's going to be a pretty tough mission guys let's go and there we go we just landed very nice good we are not concealed with the exception of the reaper it's a pretty straightforward mission, and we gotta rescue at least six of uh, the civilians. Luckily, with our improved movement, should be able to take a pretty good peek. Oh, look at that, a berserk there. Already spotted you, buddy. Already spotted you. So this here is probably a safe spot. They are nasty. We don't want to mess around with them. Period. 
We do not want to mess around with them. So let's put our sniper into a good position. Very nice shooting angles from here. Magic Man takes a full, full point position there as well. Tracy Elliott moves a bit further uh, to the front line. Another full cover position over here. And last but not least, Boom Boom takes another full cover position. So pretty tight formation. Putting everyone onto Overwatch. And there's the Chosen I was talking about. Yeah, at Camp Saps, absolutely had no surprise that we're fighting against the Chosen on those missions. And he has a couple of pretty nas uh, nasty things. Immunity to melee uh, in itself already discourages to use swords and, and the like. Regeneration is pretty brutal for us because we are low on damage. Uh, and Beastmaster is, can be savage as well. He can now summon those big uh, Berserkers and they just have a lot of hit points. Takes increased damage from close range attacks, which is good. Uh, so shotguns are advised and uh, yeah, skirmishers, we can't really do much about that. We don't even have uh, the skirmisher faction unlocked. As long as he and no one else uh, sees us, he will start uh, killing civilians. Um, this here, however, means that going forward, he will most likely start using his tracking shot. There we go, come on! Well, at least two points of damage for missing. Nice, plus burning, that is awesome. Alright, 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 we eventually will get it. Whew. Those are some nasty enemies, so we can certainly finish the Stun Lancer if needed. What is the best move here? Let's go into full cover and I would leave the Mimic Beacon open just for the end, in case something problematic happens. It's definitely a fair uh, fair game uh, to use explosives here. For shredding purposes, in minimum. We could also leave him open. Um, that's not a bad idea. Could also leave him open. Okay, let's see what the sniper can or cannot hit. 70% on the advent stun lancer. And that would get us a little bit closer to the um, to the Mac. I think we gotta bite the bullet here and just remove most of this cover. Will not help us with a Berserk, but it will go a long way in getting rid of uh, the mech. Which is going to be our first target. Highest priority. Well, good news and bad news, I suppose. Good news is we can deal with a Stun Lancer. Lightning hands barely missed, okay, fair enough. Bad news is we can't deal with uh, the uh, mech, but we can start going for the Berserk. So Berserk is now burning as well. That's not bad. And now it is a perfect time to start going for uh, the mech. Um, this here. Okay, this here is the right, the right move. 
Into full cover. Let's shred this bad boy. Nice one. Good job. Good. So we certainly could move up. This here is still out of range for the Berserk. Plus the Berserk has a couple of better targets to go for. This here on the other hand... Yeah, this here on the other hand could be a good kill against the mech. Let's try to hit it. Very nice. It's done. Yeah, we don't want to go here because uh, that would uh, reveal us. Uh, instead, we're going out of line of sight of the Berserk itself. I'm still trying to find a good position where we can kill him and still advance instead of going back. I think, however, well, that's not feasible. I don't want to uh, be caught out there. All right. That takes care of the stun lancer. And I guess the question of the day is, shall we use a Mimic Beacon for this big, ugly Berserk? Okay. Given that we can't kill it, might as well do the Mimic Beacon thing. That saves us some time, um, because he will not go for either of our uh, folks, nor will he go for... Uh, the civilians. So it's a worthwhile trade. Positioned him in the open. Yeah, that uh, guy was not as lucky. <clears throat> we fight against eight enemies. Holy shit, we're getting a lot of kills here. And this will be a tracking shot. I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Tracking shot. Um, I didn't know that that mechanic was a thing. Um, tracking shot apparently also works uh, with mimic beacons. That's fine. So we're aggressively trying to save uh, people. Let's start killing the Berserk. Nice little hit there. Yep, he starts to enrage, that's fine. <clears throat> we don't mind that. Keeping the second Mimic Beacon ready. Just want to uh, rescue civilians at this point. We're, if we were going in, that would be 6 to 8. Shooting is a little bit less than that. Okay, fair enough. Move and boom, boom up. Let's hit the Berserk. And you can already see that's a bit the problem with uh, the outdated weapons. We're just taking a lot of hits just to get this guy down. What? 
<coughs> okay, we were lucky. We almost blew our cover for nothing. Good, just to be a bit safe, let's go here into full cover and not stand in the open. Yeah, unfortunately for us, uh, the Advent troops are now going rampage and we really need to push and push and push to make sure that we can rescue as many as possible. Good, got ourselves three, which means we're looking for another three, two of which are over here. Pushing aggressively forward. By the way, got a nice little remote start here, and a nice little remote start here, and a nice little remote start in there. All of which is perfect for what we're trying to do. Given uh, the situation, we're double moving. We're now trying to really aggressively get a hold on all of these. Boom, boom, reloads. And yeah, that's the best we can do for now. Our sniper essentially moves way forward into a pretty decent um, position from our shooting angles. And I would like to continue moving to here. Which at least tells us uh, that uh, there is a faceless one. Luckily for us, we do have a second Mimic Beacon, which we're going to use. That was our plan B. Face this one for Mimic Beacon. By the way, we're going to remote start the car in here. That's going to be awesome. We're losing civilians left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. That's going to be another tracking shot. Yep, figured that that would be the case. Unfortunately, it has hit our sniper. One of the few persons that you usually do not want to get hit with it. Moving up. That should give us line of sight. And the option to blow up cars. Unfortunately, we're not seeing whether or not that's going to hit anyone. Thanks, XCOM, for these awesome um, not movable cameras. Let's try to hit, hit them. I think we're going to hit someone. The answer is yes. Yeah, we know that. Thank you, Bradford. I think that here would be a fair position. 
And it would be barely out of line of sight. Nice little shot. Thing is burning. Burning doesn't do a whole lot for us in this case. Because he has regeneration as well. Which pretty much stinks. That here, however, would do a lot. It would almost certainly kill him. <clears throat> Let's go. Very nice. Stunned for one round. Not too bad. Uh, that means we can definitely kill him with... Just one shot. Boom Boom moves over. Even if we would have missed, uh, that would have been a kill. And now we can start hitting the uh, mech over there. Moving up, this should not trigger another pack. Is what he said before triggering another pack. Let's just not stand uh, together in a clustered fashion. That's the most important thing. What's a good position? This here would be decent, but we're again standing too close together. This here would be decent as well. Not adjacent to anyone else. Unfortunately, only half cover, but you either get hit by rockets or... Um, or you can, uh, when you are clustering up, or alternatively, you are having a higher chance of getting uh, getting hit by their guns. Just barely not managed to do it. We do have a few civilians around, but maybe they are, maybe they are nice um, distractions. Yeah, that was foreseeable. That was foreseeable as well. That's what you get when you are when you are playing with uh, fire. You burn yourself. Revival protocol, and we gotta move away. Thanks to picking revival protocol. We haven't permanently lost someone. We essentially got him back. Um, could be moving over here. Yeah, not the worst idea. Good. In terms of dealing with both of these guys, how about we're again moving into a solid cover. This here deals nicely with at least a full cover to a degree and shreds a little bit. We do not have a shot, but what we can do is... Should have probably done that before, by the way. That would have been more action efficient to do it beforehand.
Now I'm essentially wasting lightning hands. Yeah, but we got them down. Good, we know that these had been the only two remaining packs. It's just a chosen for now. Reloading. And we're going to continue just picking up all of those civilians. We also know that these here are not faces ones. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. That is the only um, enemy left over in blind rage. He's charging the battlefield. That's fine. Continues to tracking shot mark our uh, sniper, which is fair, I guess. It's a valid strategy. Moving over here. Let's get the Berserk down. Reloading. And the Berserk is at what? Five hit points. That's not a 100% kill. I'm not going to take anything less than 100% at this point. Mainly because we're not having any more re-stealth abilities. Good, very good. Sniper begins to move into high ground. That's where she belongs in the first place. In terms of healing, we got boss over here, yes. And Sane is probably going to be closer to the Chosen and theoretically needs to withstand another shot. We got all of the civilians that we need. Which means for now, let's uh, get another tight formation. My life is in your hands. And it's time for the Chosen. Plus any other <clears throat> faceless ones that might show up. Time for a reloading round, so we're not going to do much here. Other than maybe checking the high ground. Let's move already. Moving, I'm not going to move uh, that far up. Not yet. No need to ask twice. Good, so where is the chosen? Is probably the question number one here. Reload, reload Overwatch. We're green to guard. Got it covered. Oh, look at you, little bugger. Nice, we got him burning. And he positioned himself perfectly here. This could be remote started if we're playing our cards right. Okay, 
Elder's hunter. From what we've heard, he's a relentless tracker with an unnatural ability to call his shots. I've killed everything that ever walked or crawled. Do you think they'll be any different? All right. So, thanks to our incredibly nimble movement, I am on the move. we might even be able to explore these gas tanks here. Oh wow, look at that. It's as if it would have been scripted. <coughs> Just out of range. There you go. Well, it sucks being you now, buddy, because I can tell you we're not done with you. Not yet. Uh, matter of fact, what we're going to do is... This is kind of a do or die situation to begin with, uh, so... Okay, we're not taking the shot, I want to get rid of his second piece of armor. And I have a very specific order in mind that I want to do. Um, so we're starting to shred him. There we go. He's immune to melee, so we're not going to do that. But he is very vulnerable to close ranged shots. Such as shotgun to the face. Nice little brittle there. Good. And now we can hand over teamwork. That's what I wanted to do. For some more damage. Another shotgun to the face. Holy shit. Okay, that was more damage than I expected. Well, the plan fun uh, worked like a charm. Worked like a charm. There's the last one. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Magic Man, by the way, Overwatches as well. We still had plenty of shots for this guy. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Good. Who gets the kill? Our Reaper. Because we want to level him further. I go where you tell me. Move up. And finish this guy. Buddy this fool. Yeah, with the exception of eating a grenade. Or rockets in that case. We actually did quite well. It was expected to be a tough mission. But I think we managed quite well. It's probably <clears throat> from um, from taking wounds. I'm expecting that we're probably going to see like around 16 days type of wounds. And it is time to land and bring home the glory. Well, I guess uh, we were lucky on the wounding timer, but we were not so lucky on the uh, promotion. Unfortunately, not a promotion again for Wrath. Uh, that is disheartening. Got a lot of rescued civilians, which also means we're going to get more Hello, supplies, 27. And, of course, most important, we didn't lose um, the area, 
which indeed was uh, the biggest problem for us. Whew, okay, good. <clears throat> We're right back at it. Not missing a beat. Yeah, no, we don't need supplies now. What we need is building that radio relay. We got a promotion here for Jessica Jones. That's perfect. Love it. Facility lead added to our inventory. And what we can do is we could reduce the uh, avatar progress. That's actually not too bad. Um, unfortunately, we can't put Raph in there. We could, however, put uh, Jessica again there. Um, essentially making her the new highest um, soldier afterwards. So let's promote her. And we're going to go with run and gun. Gotta change that short, kind of short shorts look at some point. For now it's fine. Um, so if we look at the roster, she's the only one who could theoretically take it at the moment. We could uh, let Magic Man uh, take it, um, essentially becoming a lieutenant as well. If we give it to Jessica Rabbit, her new her next abilities in Captain Rank would be untouchable, no, unplaceable first. Well, that's not bad. It's actually good. I would definitely prefer to have a promotion on someone else first, but I guess it is what it is. Wrath would be the natural um, selection that I would take if we had had him available. Unfortunately, he's fatigued. Let's go with Jessica. For good measure, let's put Mystic in here. Again, we don't want anyone captured. But there is a fair chance that someone's getting an injury. Nine days. Good enough. It will at least help us so that the uh, Evan, uh, Avatar project is not overbearing. Soon we're going to reduce it anyways because we're, making, uh, we're continuing with storyline missions. But for now, it's a good investment to have Jessica doing her deeds there. Almost mid of June, guys. Time is flying by. That's a great invention. What else do we have available? Let's proving grounds. Let's maybe go for another experimental ammunition. Has served us well so far. Oh, spider suit. Alarium 10 alloys is a big investment. <clears throat> Ten alloys is a big investment, and the exosuit could actually be helpful as well. Well, the alien alloys are my biggest concern. But if we're going to get alien alloys, we need to get 11, and if we spend 10, we would need to get um, 21. That is fine. It's definitely still kind of a um, reward that we could get from a mission. So, spider suit it is. Very helpful for our sniper. Just for mobility and for the final mission, um, it would be incredibly helpful to have that. Okay, so we are ready for another monthly supply. Sabotage the Avenger is not good. Uh, it could mess with some of our um, research. This here is irrelevant. Alloy padding essentially gives armor to all of the Ad uh, Advent soldiers. That's really bad. Uh, this here is bad as well. So we're now entering the terrain where permanent dark events just become bad no regardless. Um, 
we're almost not scanning for rumors anymore. Might as well just put plus two res uh, resistance contacts in there. Yeah, I think we're fine. Um, could gain a bit more power if needed. Our resistance orders just flat out suck, guys. Um, really, really bad resistance orders. Let's see what we do have available. Okay, so counter chosen ability is not too bad, uh, com uh, combined with um, something uh, useful. Engineer, definitely worthwhile. Ability points, also okay. This year, uh, what would that be? I think, oh yeah, will recover is 20% faster. Mm. Nah, I was hoping a to get a resistance order from here. Maybe we're going for the location of the stronghold. Uh, that would um, that would give us a new resistance order because we do have one more turn in 21 days when we can get resistance orders and I'm still trying to hope to get the um, immediate um, contact resistance order. All right, so make contact to here. That's six to eight days. Shit, eight days, that, that was uh, the worst potential outcome. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, another specialist. Um, 78 Intel, that's awesome. And another engineer. That's actually a really good mission. That is actually a really good mission. And it's only lost, says enemies. Are you kidding me? Of course we're going to do that. There's no way we wouldn't, we wouldn't be doing that. This is an awesome resistance operation. And that is indeed really, really good. Okay, so Commander, the chosen are getting closer to hunting us down every day. The only way we can... <laughs> and of course this time we had the Templar um, on vacation. Well, it is what it is. We're uh, we will uh, we will take whomever we can and field kind of a six man team. If we just fight against the lost uh so be it. Uh, I think we should be easily able to win those. Good news is most of our high-level uh, soldiers are soon going to be back, uh, which is great because I feel we have a few missions ahead of us. So that's good. In terms of uh, research, six more days until we're decrypting the codex data. Usually uh, the, um, the uh, sabotages happen towards the end of the month, which means it's very likely that we will get this through. And afterwards we have no more new projects, which means we can then work on magnetic weapons. Fair enough. Intel wise, we are at 600. Uh, with, with the next mission, we would be at 600 Intel. Let's have a short look if that uh, turns out to be enough. So 600 Intel, we already made contact. That's 106, uh, 160 here. That would be 160 there. That's uh, 320 uh, and 240. So that would be um, 52560. Um, which means everything above 560 is ours to essentially take. Um, if we were at um, the new mission has like what? 78 Intel, which is coincidentally almost as much as we need in order to level up. So we would be at 604 and 560, that's 44 left over. Oh my god, one short. 45 Intel was the cost for the 
um, the uh, alien alloys, but what we could do is now nah, we actually can't do that. We cannot uh, get gain intel via the Reaper HQ because we need all of the days uh, to make contact. Basically, make contact immediately, do the mission, then make contact, make contact immediately, do the mission, and then um, research as fast as humanly possible. We cannot lose any more time. Once you do this mission, we need to research it, so no time lost there because we need to make contact in parallel. But then we're doing this mission, which gives us uh, the... Um, we're doing this mission here first. We're going to school check, and uh, there will be the avatar. Avatar will be researched, um, as well as the portal that will be researched. I'm confident that we can do that in around 15 to 20 days, which is as much as we need in order to go here. Um, but we need the suit in order to research the avatar. Ah, uh, that's a bit of a hen and an egg problem. I'm just seeing that we're still short, probably still short on time. If we're just powering through, That'll be seven days. Let's say that's seven. That's 14 days. That's seven. And that's seven. So that's 28 days. Pretty much a month. Um, so we would be just about to finish uh, this mission here. Um, just about to finish this mission here. <clears throat> and then we do have a bit more research uh, to be done. A, we need to get uh, the um, suit researched. And B, we need to get the avatar itself researched um i think the the research is only possible once you have the suit not sure though i would need to look it up so we're uh, best case we have all of the research done short of the suit to go to water world we i i will need to find a way of very soon getting uh, getting speeding up getting here because we need to do this research and we need to start making contact um yeah that's that's really it or Basically, researching faster, that's an option as well. It's still t theoretically possible, but we're at this point at the, at the mercy of RNG, and RNG hasn't treated us uh, very well so far. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy uh, the whole exquisite timing uh, thought process in the series. If you like it, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. You know the drill, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.